Hey guys, welcome to my channel at Rika Dorn. So today I'm going to show you with a quick brow tutorial on how I do my brows. The products I'm going to be using is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Brush in 7B. I'm going to use both the bristle and the angled end of the brush. And then I'm going to be using, of course, the Anastasia um, bom the pomade, the dip brow pomade in the color Ebony. And also I'm going to be using a gel to set my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Glossier's um, Boy Brow in the color clear. And I didn't show it in the beginning but of course also I'm going to be using um, a concealer and I'll show you guys the concealer in a little bit. So let's zoom into these bad boys. <laughs> really close and personal for you guys. And let's just take a second to just admire these beautiful lashes that I got done from Lash Me Up Mob on Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram down below so you guys can check her out. She did an amazing job. I got the mega volume lashes. So back to this brow tutorial. Um, first thing I'm going to do is just brush those brows upwards just to get them, you know, groomed and ready to go. And then I'm going to go in with the dip brow. And I take a generous amount. I usually just put a little bit and then kind of put it on the palm of my, not the palm, the back of my hand to see how thick it is because I don't want it to be super duper dark. So that's what I do. I start from the top and then I go outwards. Um, and I don't really worry about perfecting the ends because it kind of all comes together after I conceal everything. So I usually just work on the top parts of my brows, if that makes sense, um, first. And I just kind of keep applying and brushing at the same time until I get the fullness that I'm looking for. And I try my best to not go out of my thickness of my brows because I already like the thickness of it. I just want to um, make them look more fuller. So that's what I'm doing here. So doing the same thing, I'm just tracing out the outside of it. And then I go outwards because my brows aren't long enough until I get it to the length that I want. And then once I get them the length that I want, then I bring it inwards and I kind of try to do like little hair like strokes. And then I just kind of just blend everything out really. It's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of easier just to watch me do it. So, yeah. Then very lightly, you'll see me kind of just brush a little bit under my brows. Um, like I said, I don't really like to fill in too much under my brows because they're kind of already full there. But really, I just keep brushing and trying to blend in my brows as much as I can. Then I'm going in with the clear brow gel. And I'm just going to apply a good amount of that. And I always have to brush it through because if not, it kind of leaves like, an, a, like a white cast over my brows, which I don't like. I use, uh, sometimes I use a clear one, sometimes I use a black one, depending on how I feel. But I went with the clear one today. It definitely helps keep my brows in place, which is what I love about it. And then I'm going to go in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Cool Tan. And here is where I'm going to just trace out my brows. And that's just going to make them look more defined and fresh. And make it look like I kind of just got them done. So... Yeah, I try not to do too much. I don't like it. Some people have like that whole like extra concealer line that's under their brows. I don't like all that. I want it to be all blended out. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And you'll see me in a second. I, I'll show you what I usually do when I conceal a little bit too much. Because I think I did that on this brow. Can't really remember. But um, so yeah, here I'm just trying to like put more concealer, even everything out. And then depending on how it looks afterwards, then I decide if I want to go back with my dip brow and add more concealer. Or not concealer, add more um, pomade. So you see me here kind of just lightly filling in the spots that are not filled in. So I'm just blending it out. There's nothing on my brush there. And then I'm going in with a little bit of highlight just to pop under my brows. And voila, that is my brow tutorial 
in five minutes. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and thank you guys so much for watching.